happy Monday. Um, how are you all doing today? Today is a Monday, and today is a very good day. Um, I am currently at Walmart right now, and I am about to pick up a few things. I have to go to my parents' house to wash clothes. And um, I currently don't have a washer and dryer yet. And that's cool because I live in an apartment. So it, it's all fine and dandy. Um, so I'm about to go and Walmart, pick up a couple things, go to my parents' house, wash clothes. I think I'm going to go to Sydney's house and get my nails done because, yeah, they look in a hot mess.com. And um, I think. Brandon is coming down. I'm not sure, but we're just going to see whatever the day holds. It's kind of muggy and ugly out here. That's why I'm surprised. I look honestly this pretty and this bright right now. Not that I'm taking away from the fact that I look pretty, but it actually looks real pretty and bright right now. Um, so that's what I'm about to do. But I hope you all are having a good Monday. We are now officially 13 days away from Christmas. How do y'all feel about that? Because as of Friday, we'll be seven days away from Christmas. So we're about 13 days away from Christmas. And let me know how you're feeling like. Are you anxious? Have you bought all of your Christmas gifts yet? I haven't, but some packages are coming in the mail. So I'm predicting that this Christmas will be a really, really, really good Christmas this year. But it's raining, so let's go ahead and safety first let's let's mask up i keep it a cup i keep a couple of these um masks in the car and then i wash them once a week and i just like the ones that i haven't worn i'll just like rotate them um so yeah um let's go happy vlogmas guys i believe today is vlogmas Day 15, check. Yep, Vlogmas day 15. And I hope everyone is having a good day. I'm going to get my nails done actually today. Yesterday, I hung out with my parents and caught up with them, had dinner with them. They're my favorite people in the whole wide world and I think you guys already know that. But tonight, y'all may actually get to meet someone. Um, I'm walking around looking for my keys in my pocketbook. Uh, one of my AirPods. My AirPods is over here. But how's y'all day going? I was real low yesterday. I ain't do a whole lot of recording, but I'm cooking tonight. Um, I'm making chicken Alfredo with a little bit of salmon, and I'm really excited. Um, after I leave Sydney's house tonight, I do have to stop at Five Below. Um, so I really didn't record a whole, whole lot for you guys yesterday. Um, my house is still clean, so it wasn't really a whole, whole, whole lot to record. I did finish my clothes. I do have to stop at Walmart to get, um, what do I need to get from Walmart? I do need to stop at Walmart so I can get a, a set of hangers. I have new clothes that I need to get hung up. And so I'm going to do that. So as you all know, come along with the kid. Now I have a question. If y'all want me to do a Christmas house tour, please let me know. Cause I'll be more than happy to do that. And to go down and listen, tell y'all where I bought everything from. So let me know down in the comment section below.
So, with her and my um my leg, my my my, my equipment is <laughs> falling. Um, but yeah, we here. There's Biggie. Biggie. Hey guys, and welcome to the vlog. Um, Y'all have requested her, and she is here. The one and only Sydney Simone, Miss Nail Inspiration herself. Okay. Um, we were sitting here talking about Real Housewives of Potomac, the reunion. And um, it's one of the things, I can't remember her name. But it's the other one that hangs out with Candace. Wendy. Wendy. Got you. Wendy. I'm all about Miss Wendy, okay? Love her. Wendy kind of irked me when I look at one of the things when she says aggressive is a word that is associated with black females. And I highly disagree with that. Nope, no, 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 nope, nope. As I said, that's just that me. Right, that's right, just right. me and my opinion because when you say one, when I think of, oh my God, they were so aggressive, someone may associate it with black in general. Now we were like, oh my God, she was so ghetto. You don't associate that with a Caucasian person. I automatically assume that you're black. So, hey, Siri, stop. So, in that context, I think, I think, I get where you're coming from, but I think in the context of the show, her comment is relevant because the only two darker skinned females on that cast are Candace and Wendy. And Monique. Monique, is, Monique is, is still pretty fair skinned. She is, but so she, she, she's, I mean, then you have Robin, who's the only white woman on the well, no, she's Robin is black. She's just very light skinned. Well, then yeah. So like everybody on there is light skinned except again for Candace and Whitney. Yeah. No, Monique and Whitney. Tell me, Candace and Whitney. Yeah, sorry. Candace and Whitney. But when she said that, she was like, um, "You like oh aggressive." Now, if you come across with a certain demeanor, it may come across as aggressive, but. I don't automatically associate a black woman to be an oppressor. You don't, because you are a black woman. However, society has and has for many years. It's, I don't it's think, a tool of oppression. Because uh, when I was talking to my mom about it yesterday, I was like, Mom, would you associate black, like a black woman as being aggressive? She's like, that's not the first thing that would come to my mind. And when you say ghetto, she said, now that's offensive. Now, if you used to say, oh, you're aggressive, I wouldn't be offended by that. But if you used to say, oh, you're very ghetto, or you're ratchet, or you're a hood rat now. A hood rat is definitely offensive to right. me. But, so you have to, but I don't think you're understanding necessarily the context behind why, why they're saying aggressive. Or using that word as aggressive. Using the word aggressive. So essentially what it is is essentially what they're what they're getting at is ladies. Um what they're getting at is the term aggressive being used to describe black women in a certain position or of a certain caliber to pretty much demean them in that sense. So, role play, if I am being aggressive with my hand, <laughs> if I am, if I am the one female black attorney in a predominantly, excuse me, male dominated, white male dominated attorney's office, just Take an episode of Girlfriends. Boom. Because it happened there. I'm glad I used that example. So there, the episode, I don't remember what season it was, where Joan and William were competing for um, the 
partner position, right. senior partner position at the firm. And Joan had done something, you know, while they were in there, you know, little morning meeting things that they were having. And, and she didn't like she it. She was called aggressive. So it's, it's a part of the stereotype that this country has used to label us as black women to hinder us, to hinder our growth, to demonize us, to dehumanize us to a point where they can still have control. Kind of sort of how Will Smith did when he called um, the original Aunt Viv difficult. Essentially, yes. That's how people, how Monique feels. When a black woman is labeled difficult in the entertainment field, their career is over. Because nobody's going to want to work with them. That's, that's, that's how good. Feel. Please, tell me how y'all feel in the comments. Um, I know predominantly a lot of my viewers viewers are African American. Um, and I do have some of my pretty, my, my snowflakes that I love. Please tell me exactly how you all feel. Do you all feel that when this word aggressive, like when you automatically assume that if someone says, oh my God, she was so aggressive. Do you automatically assume that it's an African-American female? Well, okay. So let me correct you there. If, if we're asking the question, there has to be context behind it. So when just any rando on the street says, oh, she was aggressive. I mean, it's probably very possible that they're talking about a black woman, but we're talking about it in a specific context. Right. Black women are labeled aggressive when they go after what they want, when they do things that they want to do and they stand up for themselves and they don't take no BS. Now, if a white woman were to do that, she would be applauded. When a Absolutely. black woman does it, she's labeled aggressive. There's this context behind the word as opposed to just me saying, oh, she's aggressive. I could be talking about anybody. Right. We're talking but, about specific context. Right. But the way um, Wendy Kane added, she says, when you specifically say that, oh, she did this in an aggressive manner. She was talking that, about Wendy in that context. Yes. In a professional but setting. But she said that they automatically associate them with African-American females. Correct. Right. In that manner, she's saying that if you said, oh my God, you're just being so aggressive, they automatically associate that with African-American females. That's why I posed the question. When you hear someone say, oh my God, she was just being so aggressive. Because granted, I have a tendency to be, you know, a little aggressive when it, when it does pertain to something that I want. I've never been labeled that um, or I've never heard anyone directly say that to me. So it's never really affected me in any way. Matter of fact, I think my supervisor might have said that to me before. I, I honestly think he did say that to me one day. He was like, oh my God, Eric, like you're very aggressive because... That's something I would have taken offense to. I think it... What this, was, well, before what I... What was the context was, yes, in a way? The context? Um, because I always felt like they were picking on me. And in the, in that sense, when I feel like you're picking on me, I get defensive. I get in defense mode and I always feel the need to defend myself. So I may show a little attitude. Some slight, no, no, nothing major. But yeah, I mean, but I, I would never, maybe in their industry, because again, they are reality stars. So when you do say that, it will probably more than likely end someone's career by saying that, that, you know, aggressive and difficult. So please, please let me, let me know exactly how you all feel. I really want to know this. This, this is really good. Like when she. Um, please, like, please let me know exactly how you, how, what you all think in the comments, because it, it's, it was something and I, it caught my attention. Like very rarely do like stuff like that catch my attention, but it really caught my attention. It got me to thinking like, is that what really, is that really what people think about us women? No, not us women, us black women. Yeah. That's why, that's why I, was, that's I, I didn't want to say it that way, but yeah, us, like, black us, women. us melanin people. Those people melanin. with the yeah with the melanin. Yeah, 
that's that's really how they think of it. And again, like I said, it's 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 society it's implemented in society to basically for them to in it's a form of control. They feel like they can control the world's eye view on us so they can keep us under their thumb. I don't think Madam Vice President Kamala Harris would have gotten as far as she's gotten as far as being the first black um, district attorney um, in California, being the first black woman Senate in um, California, or even being the first black female vice president in history. Had she not shown some type of aggression, not aggressive and disrespectful so. way, or you know, demeaning her character. But, and so we have to look at the word aggressive. Aggressive already has a negative connotation to it. It does. So the proper word would be, it's cliche, but the proper word would be passionate. She's right. passionate about what she does, what she what she knows and what she believes in. Absolutely. Especially in her type of position, you have to be a go-getter. You have to be passionate in order Absolutely. to implement policies and, and have really to for people the people that you are supposed to serve in your office or under your title, they have to have your trust and respect. And they have to know that you're gonna be able to get the job done. Absolutely. So I believe that to be a level of passion and I think the word aggressive in that context is misused it is because again like you said aggressive has a negative connotation to it that so, people have put on it i really feel like people put that negative connotation there um well, just see, like get up i want to see what the what is what's just defined uh, the word aggressive as being hey siri how does webster define aggressive Getting this from MerriamWebster.com. People, definition of a of aggressive. There's one, two, three, four, five. Um, tending toward or exhibiting aggression, marked by combative readiness, um, marked by driving forceful energy or or initiative, strong or emphatic in effect or intent, growing, developing, or spreading rapidly. Um, more severe, intensive, or comprehensive than usual, especially in dosage or extent. Um, so, in those in those connotations, the last one I read, um, the the um, example they gave, aggressive chemotherapy, um, growing, developing that that definition was aggressive bone tumors. That that example of that definition. Um, Strong or emphatic in effect or intent, aggressive colors, aggressive flavors, meaning they're stronger, they're bolder. Um, marked by driving forceful energy or initiative. Driving forceful and energy salesman. can it can it can that forceful energy like like you know how like some people use the saying or like she's a force to be reckoned with. Right. That's what I like. I look at it, but again, it's just me. I don't look at that in a bad way. Right. So if they was like, oh my god, like she was like mad aggressive at that uh, debate, but she won that the de- that debate because it was her passion. Mm-hmm. They didn't. It. It. I don't. I don't look at. I just me. Right. I don't look at it that way. But again, society does. Right. Um, the second one is, I kind of read through it because I was trying to get, get through all of them, but the second one was the, the main one, or the third one, I guess, that I read. Yes. Um, marked by obtrusive energy and self-assertiveness, a rude, aggressive personality. And that is where the, I believe yeah, what they that mean. connotation is coming right. from. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's just my personal opinion. Um, I see exactly where Wendy was coming from. Um, for Ashley to kind of, when they were having that conversation or when Wendy brought up the topic, I feel like Ashley kind of demeaned, um, is that a word, demeaned? It is. 
um, when Ashley basically put down how Wendy was feeling in in a manner that was to again diminish what she was feeling or to make it seem as if that was not the case um she may not have meant it in that that manner and that is the problem i think with um the allies um so our white counterparts hispanic counterparts those who are standing as allies to the black and african-american community um, the issue to me that lies there is a lot of them are not aware of their privilege to a point where you, even though you are a, a, a mixed race woman, you are still viewed as an African-American woman. Absolutely. You appear as an African-American woman, but you are still very fair skinned. So you still have some privilege there. Um, so her using the term aggressive as it referred to Wendy or, um, or Candace, though she did not mean it, I don't. I truly don't believe she meant it. In, in the, the way, way that, that they in took the it, that they, in the way that it was perceived. perceived by them. However, you have to be very careful with your words. Robin said this. Um, you have to be very careful with your words. You may not mean it in a way, but the 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 privilege that you have behind your skin. Absolutely, her and Robin her, to be exact. And Robin and Robin, and that's why I was I was happy that Robin kind of clarified that. I still don't think it was understood. Um, I don't really acknowledge Candace's, um, not Candace, um, Monique's comments within the issue because she was just speaking from anger and ignorance. But um, when it when it comes down to the fact of the matter is. What Ashley was saying to Wendy was, it seemed as if to diminish how she was feeling. Though I knew she was trying to get her point across and, and clearly state that's not what she meant behind what she said. She did feel that Wendy was being aggressive. You don't realize what those words can do to a dark-skinned, black, African-American woman career when it comes to that. Because Wendy is not just on this show like y'all are. Y'all might have your little businesses here and there, but no, she's, she's doing the work. She's on CNN. She's on these MSNBC. She's on these powerful news outlets explaining to people across this nation and across the world how it is to live as a black woman and how politics and policy of the United States affect people of color and affect women of color. And just being called aggressive on this little reality show that she's just kind of doing just probably for shits and giggles. You, you'd be surprised how that how, one little Ashley thing, yeah. Calling her aggressive from a situation that happened, because all it takes is for people to see a clip from wherever in the season, or that when they were at dinner and Wendy and Ashley got got the argument, it takes them one person to play that clip, and she's forever labeled aggressive because that is the word that they heard Ashley use, and then they saw the footage, and then that's the term that they're going to use to describe Wendy, and that's not fair. I love it. I love it. Me personal opinion, but you know. Plus I've never really been a big fan of Ashley. I think she starts a lot of mess. And now that she's in a position to receive a lot of mess from Candace, she's kind of reaping everything that she sold in the beginning seasons when she first joined the cast. I've been an RHOP fan since the, the beginning. So. I have not. My mom has. I just so happened to watch it after Candace and Monique got into it. But you all, I would love to get y'all's feedback. This is love, this is really good chit chat. But we about to finish watching Selena's, Los Dinas. Dinos. Dinos. Selena y Los Dinos. Anything for Selena, okay? We about to finish watching. <laughs> We're about to finish watching Selena's and catching up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, well, one, hopefully you can see my nails. If you can't, then wait till I get in, get near some light because I forgot my light again because I know 
I mean, I'm um, just leaving from getting my nails done. Y'all, it's so cold out here. Like, OMG. Man, it's so cold out here. And I'm on my way to Walmart so I can pick up some chicken, some salmon, and some ha um, hangers so that I can hang on my clothes. I'm about to cook dinner for my friend and I. And again, like I said, hopefully y'all can be my friend or whatever. <clears throat> but listen, it's 37 degrees. It's cold. If you really don't have to be outside, please. <laughs> please don't be outside. Like, oh my God. I'm like, I know I got a scarf in my trunk. I got water in here, y'all. The water is cold okay this water is cold i purposely left it in the car but i'm so i'm very much so serious it's so cold out here if y'all don't have to go outside please don't go outside but as the old people said this weather is getting like this so that it can snow i'm just praying this be the year that we get a snowy Christmas that would be my soul heart's desire but I'm so glad you all came with me and enjoyed with me um it makes my heart glad for you all to like see my friends um and FYI or just to let anyone know I'm far from racist i love all people black white puerto rican haitian i love all people but um i love history and i love being able to articulate the different types of stereotypes that we as african americans go through and i really enjoyed the conversation tonight even after um i was done recording sydney and i we continued to talk about um you know like her dealing with it and she understands it more because she went through it i myself i went to i my, i huh, i went to a minority of black black school she went to a minority white school so we both have the same views and now that I have a better understanding of why the word aggressive is to diminish African American females I myself am choosing to use better vocabulary when it concerns my, my um, African American women because we can say stuff and it really can diminish someone's character um their reputation and i am a person of positivity i believe in building people up i really don't believe in tearing people down and that's not who i am and that's not what i want to be about and that's not what i want my channel to be about so i hope that that conversation does not offend anyone that's why i'm asking